Vitamin B12 is an essential nutrient that plays a key role in the human body. It helps with the production of red blood cells and keeps the nervous system functioning properly. It's important to remember that our body does not create vitamin B12 on its own, which means that we must obtain this nutrient from the foods that we eat in our diet. Unfortunately, a portion of the adult population is not getting enough of this important vitamin which can lead to a number of physical and psychological problems. This is known as having a vitamin B12 deficiency and can lead to many unwanted signs and symptoms. With that said, you're probably wondering, what exactly are the most common causes and how can we avoid a vitamin B12 deficiency? That is exactly what we are going to talk about in this video. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. As previously mentioned, vitamin B12, aka cobalamin, is one of the eight B vitamins that play a role in our body systems. It's a water-soluble vitamin that is involved in cell metabolism and the production of DNA. When our body doesn't absorb enough of this vitamin, this is known as having a deficiency which can be detrimental to your overall health. In order to avoid a B12 deficiency, you must first know and try to avoid the most common causes. The number one cause of a B12 deficiency is pretty obvious, and it is eating a diet that lacks this vitamin. With that said, thankfully vitamin B12 deficiency isn't very common in the United States due to the regular diet of most people. However, it is more common amongst vegans and vegetarians because plant-based foods do not typically contain this vitamin. Some examples of foods that are high in vitamin B12 include meat, fish, poultry, eggs, dairy products, and fortified breakfast cereals. For those unable to get it from their diet, this vitamin can be consumed as an oral supplement injection or nasal spray. With that said, Vitamin B12 is generally considered to be safe, however, this is something that must be discussed and should be recommended by your physician. Another common cause of vitamin B12 deficiency is simply your age. That's right, unfortunately, as we get older, it increases the chances of a B12 deficiency. Researchers believe that adults over the age of 50 may not be able to absorb this vitamin quite as well as in their younger years. This indicates that they may need to consume a higher amount in order to keep their levels up. However, it's important to ask your doctor what is right for your individual needs. Another cause to be aware of is pernicious anemia. This is a disorder that causes the immune system to attack the cells in your body that are responsible for creating the protein that is required to absorb vitamin B12. This can be detrimental because vitamin B12 is required to create red blood cells within the body. So when a deficiency is present, a lack of red blood cells causes a decrease in oxygen transport, which can result in a number of unwanted signs and symptoms. Certain intestinal disorders can also cause a vitamin B12 deficiency as well. That is because they can affect the small intestine and make it difficult to facilitate the absorption of vitamin B12 in the body. Some examples include celiac disease, Crohn's disease, and ulcerative colitis. Each may cause different signs and symptoms and may require different treatment methods. However, what they all share in common is that they can limit B12 absorption, which can result in a deficiency. You should note that certain medications can also cause a deficiency of this vitamin. That is because they can lower the amount of B12 in the body, and this is especially true for some drugs when used over a long period of time. Some examples include metformin, colchicine, proton pump inhibitors, anti-epileptic drugs, and even some antibiotics. This is not to suggest that you should stop taking any prescription medications. However, just be aware that some of these drugs could be contributing to a vitamin B12 deficiency. Another cause that we should mention is certain surgical procedures. This is especially true for those that involve the stomach or small intestine. 
These anatomical changes may result in less B12 absorption, which can cause a deficiency. In fact, studies found that a B12 deficiency is found in up to 62% of patients who undergo this type of surgical procedure. Again, if your body is deficient in vitamin B12, it can lead to a number of serious unwanted signs and symptoms. This is a topic that we've covered in a separate video here on our channel, but some of the most common examples include anemia, fatigue, pale skin, mood swings, dizziness, blurred vision, mouth pain, and tingling in your hands and feet. These can all be avoided or mitigated by knowing the most common causes and taking action to ensure that your body is taking in the required amount of vitamin B12 that it needs. So just to give a quick recap, the most common causes of a B12 deficiency to be aware of include age, pernicious anemia, intestinal disorders, certain medications, surgical procedures, and eating a diet that lacks vitamin B12. Again, we've talked more about vitamin B12 deficiency more in depth in other videos on our channel. So definitely go check those out if you want to learn more. But real quick, if you don't mind, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you'll enjoy. Millions of people around the world are trying to avoid the signs and symptoms that can come from a vitamin B12 deficiency. Hopefully the information that you learned in this video can help you do just that. The first step is knowing the specific causes so that you can do your best to avoid them if possible. With that said, if you suspect that you or a family member may be suffering from a B12 deficiency, the best course of action to take is to seek guidance from a qualified medical physician. Just a quick reminder, we are not doctors and this video should not be taken as medical advice. Again, this video is for informational purposes only. But hopefully you learned a thing or two and hopefully you're now one step closer to improving your overall health and thus improving the overall quality of your life. If so, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you want to learn even more about this topic, we do have a full guide on our website. I will drop a link to it right below this video down in the description. We cover a wide range of similar topics as well that I definitely think you will find to be useful. Again, everything you need, including all the links, can be located below this video in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.